going to share or solve a sample problem about differential manometer. Okay. Here's the problem. A manometer connects an oil pipeline and a water pipeline as shown in the figure. Determine the difference in pressure between the two pipelines using the readings on the manometer. Use specific gravity of oil equal to 0.86 and specific gravity of mercury equal to 13.6. So I'm going to present two solutions. Okay. So solution one is to sum up pressure and the other one is to sum up pressure head. So first let's identify specific points. So center for this pipeline, let's denote this one as point one. Okay. And then here point two, junction between water and mercury. And then a uh, point of same elevation as point two, denote it as point three, and then junction between air and mercury 0.4 and then junction between air and oil 5 and center of oil pipeline as 0.6 so solution one is to sum up pressure and we all know that the formula of pressure is gamma times h where gamma is specific weight of the liquid so let's start with one. Uh, at first, we don't know if uh, point one has the bigger pressure compared to point six. And if the difference between one and six is positive, it means that point one has the higher pressure than point six. But if the difference between point one and six is negative, it means that uh, the pressure is higher at 0.6 compared to 0.1. Okay. So let us start with 1 and then we will end up at 0.6. So at 0.1, air, ma, water, man, so pressure of water, and that's gamma H. So gamma of water, uh, pressure at A, sorry, pressure at A, or pressure at water, pressure of water, PW. And then point one transfer an in a point, same pressure, na, same elevation, same liquid, same pressure. So point one, we transfer here, same pressure. And then going down, you add pressure. Add ka gamma H. So from this point, you go down gamma H. And since our gamma is in kilonewton per cubic meters, we'll convert 4 centimeters to meters. And 4 centimeters is equal to 0 0.04 meters. So our next term is the pressure of water and then go down. That's plus 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meters times 0 0.04 meters, the resulting unit is kilo pascal. So after adding this term, we are now at 0 0.2. And then same liquid, same, same elevation. The pressure at 2 is equal to the pressure at 3. Therefore, from 0 0.2, we will now transfer to 0.3. So from this point, you go up to 0.4. So in going up, you subtract pressure. That's gamma H. So that would be gamma of mercury times height. No? And gamma of mercury is equal to specific gravity of mercury times gamma of water. So the term is this minus specific gravity of mercury times specific weight of water, gamma H, 
Oh, gamma. Gamma of mercury times height of mercury. 0 0.08 meters. So after subtracting this term, we are now at 0.4. Okay. The assumption here is ang pressure sa air is uniform. So it means na the pressure at 4 is the same as the press pressure at 5. So pressure the ray for same sa 5. So from 4, we will now transfer to 0.5. And then from 5, we go down to 0.6. Moada sa tau pressure kay downward. And the liquid here is oil. So that would be gamma of oil times height of oil. And gamma of oil is specific gravity times specific weight of water this term so specific gravity of oil times specific weight of water so this is gamma of oil times height 0 0.06 and it's equal to the pressure of pressure at six or pressure of oil so after this equation we now transpose p of oil to the left side and all terms constant now. We'll transpose our right side. So we have this term. P of water minus P of oil. So this term, pag transpose, ma change and sign. From negative to positive, positive to negative. And then the next step here is compute. The result is this. This is the answer difference in pressure and since the the difference is positive it means na uh, the water pipeline has the bigger pressure compared to the oil pipeline okay so this is solution one uh, using you know by summing up pressure now solution two is to sum up pressure head in terms of water. Okay, why water? Okay. Let's recall. Oh, Pressure is gamma times H. So, so uh, pag gamma H, well, there are two liquids, no? So, Gamma H of liquid 1, same as gamma H of liquid 2, same as gamma C, H, C. Any liquid, same pressure na. Okay. Now, next is to express gamma of any liquid in terms of specific gravity of the liquid times gamma of water. No? Um, fluid property, money. So, gamma A change to specific gravity of A times gamma of water. Same also with B. Now, with this, makancel ang gamma of water. Cancel na. So, what remains is SA, HA, this one. Now, <clears throat> our liquid A can be changed to water. And our, our liquid B can be changed to any liquid. So we can generalize this one as specific gravity of water times height of water is equal to specific gravity of any liquid times height of liquid. So this is the new you know, expression. Specific gravity of water times height of water is equal to specific gravity of any liquid times height of the liquid. Now, since we all know that the specific gravity of water is 1.0, therefore, if you are going to sum up pressure head in terms of water, all you have to do is one. Uh, this one, no? height of water is equal to, or pressure head no? in terms of water is equal to Specific gravity of the liquid times height of 
the liquid. So, this is our final expression. Uh, okay. Now, let's go back to our pipelines. For the pressure at 1, we will express it in, in pressure head. No? And since P is equal to gamma H, then pressure head H is equal to pressure over gamma. But our gamma is water, okay, in meters of water. So our first term is pressure of water P1 or P of water over gamma of water. Uh, so pressure of water over gamma of water. So same procedure as uh, solution one. From point one, transfer here, same elevation, same pressure. You go down, H lang, okay? And since water many, H lang of water. And that is 4 centimeters or 0 0.04 meters. Kana lang. In meters man. So, 0 0.04. Now, we are now at point 2. And then, same elevation, same liquid. Pressure sa 2 is equal to pressure sa 3. So from 2, we now transfer to 0.3. From 3 going to 4, you go up. So mag subtract ka o pressure head. So ang pressure head na ni, oh, of course, mercury man. So you use this one. Height sa mercury times specific gravity of mercury. This one. Hmm. Pero kung water lang, you just use height of water. Okay? Ang specific gravity sa water, 1 man. Oh. So, we are now at 0.4. Now, assuming constant pressure, the pressure at 4 is equal to pressure at 5. And then from 5, you go down, mag-add ka. Height na sa, no? Pressure head. Pero kay oil man eh. So, pressure head, oh, height sa oil times specific gravity of oil. And that's 0 0.06 times specific gravity niya. 0.86. And that's equal to the pressure head at 6 or P of oil over gamma. Oh. So next step is transpose this term to the left. And then all of this one will be transposed to the right side. Like this. So positive 0 0.04 becomes negative. Negative becomes positive. And then positive becomes negative. And then you compute, simplify. The answer is this. Now, since what is asked is the difference in pressure, then let's cross multiply gamma sa right side. Like this one. So P of water minus P of oil is equal to gamma times H. So it cancel lang M meters cancel squared na labelin. Kilo newton per meter squared is kilo pascal. And the result is this one. Same sa solution one. Now, the advantage of this solution in summing up pressure head in terms uh, instead of pressure is that no need to include gamma of water in each term. Kaya kung magsama pa pressure, gamma H man. So, and if, if it's not water, if, if it's another liquid, then ang gamma is specific gravity of the liquid times gamma of water. Therefore, for each term, mag-multiply ka o gamma of water. Now, if you sum up pressure head, kine lang. Specific gravity of the liquid times height sa liquid. Um, pero pag water na, uh, it's only height, guys. Height, no. Specific gravity sa water is 1. 
So like this one, water mani 0 0.04 lang. Wala na specific gravity. For in general, pag pressure head, specific gravity of liquid times height sa liquid. So it's up to you what solution you are going to use. Solution 1 or solution 2. That's it. So I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.